And updating with information all afternoon as it comes in. Our Jamie Leary has the very latest, and she joins us not too far from that school. Jamie, what's the latest? Well, right now, definitely the scene has calmed down. Sheriff Tony Spurlock just stepped out of this mobile command center here at the Highlands Ranch AMC to give us an update. And he said, really, right now they are slowing things down. The main priority is taking care of those injured and assessing the situation. We still have one injured student who hasn't been connected with the family yet. So they aren't releasing any details about those who have been injured or the nature of their injuries. One of the things that we found really interesting was that these two suspects here that created uh, this initial response, they are supposedly believed to be students, um, one adult, one juvenile, but they still confirm that they believe both of these uh, suspects are students at the school. Um, they said they uh, engaged students in two different areas, just classrooms inside of the school. Um, and the second, uh, a gunfire went off. Immediately, there was a call to 911. The D.C. Sheriff said they responded here in about two minutes. So pretty incredible response, just enormous response, actually, by the D.C. Sheriff. We had a bird's eye view of that from where we are. Um, but right now, it seems that it is totally cleared out. So um, and we want to take you to Tony Spurlock to give you some details about what he had to say this afternoon to us. Almost immediately as the first uh, gunshots were fired, uh, the school uh, notified um, the dispatch center through our communication center uh, that there was uh, an, uh, a shooting at the school. About two minutes later, uh, first deputies arrived and engaged uh, the suspects. My officers engaged them and um, we had them in custody. I don't know where they were taken into custody at at the school, at, at what room or whatever, and, and uh, the FBI will help us determine some of that with the interviews of the uh, officers in the crime scene. Reaching out on Facebook saying now, they're not sharing any details about these suspects at this point in time. They're not sharing anything about the nature of the weapons used or uh, about their tactics used either. So they're keeping that on the down low while they process the crime scene. And again, Tony Spurlock told us today that the main priority is to take care of uh, the students, the faculty, everybody there, the families involved in this horrific tragedy. Uh, but again, at this point in time, we know that the eight injured, they are all students, the suspects are not among those injured and I know we're going to continue to have more information come in so we'll continue to follow this story. Karen Jim back to you.